Jesus freak here. I understand my perspective might be a little different than others you might also be watching here on YouTube. So I want to make sure that it's clear what my actual perspective is about the um, whole thing about going back to church or going to church versus not going to church in the current situation. My opinion is, if you can, and if their services aren't a mockery, which I believe that certain um, attempts that some churches have made to work around the issue are a mockery, which is why I didn't go to my own church for a while, because I thought that drive-in services were a joke. If you can, do. Now, that said, the church I go to does have some pretty strict requirements about, um, they have the laser thermometers, I mentioned those, um, the hand sanitizer and all stuff, and they make you keep the mask on. It's possible that some of this isn't actually a matter of the church being paranoid or whatever, but because the building is a daycare center. As such, they may have more stringent laws that they're required to follow. Now, from one perspective, you could say, you know, in New York, the rule says, as you have to have the mask if you can't maintain social distance and you're in a public place. First of all, the conjunction is and, not or. And second of all, one could argue that the church is actually private property since it's not a public place. A lot of places have stringent mask rules and for the most part these aren't the law. These are the private property ex ex exerting its own prerogative and its own authority within its property, within its own premises, which they have a right to do. Personally, I think that once you're in your pew, you're a sufficient distance away from anyone else. You should be allowed to take the mask off for the, per, uh, for the duration of the service. Of course, there's no passing of the peace, and, and you probably need to mask up before going up if they do communion. Of course, it's not my decision to make, but that's my opinion. As far as the whole, whole thing about, you know, we should get together whenever we can, well, yes, we should. But sometimes it's not really possible. And even, and God has said, you know, this, this is going to happen, that sometimes you're going to have these dearths of God's presence. And that's just the way things are things are sometimes going to be. And the songs of the temple shall be howlings in that day, saith the Lord God. There shall be many dead bodies in every place. They shall cast them forth with silence. The Lord hath sworn by the excellency of Jacob, surely I will never forget any of their works. Shall not the land tremble for this, and everyone mourn that dwelleth therein? And it shall rise up holy as a flood, and it shall be cast out and drowned as by the flood of Egypt. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, 
and I will darken the earth in the clear day, and I will turn your feasts into mourning, and all your songs into lamentation, and I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins, and baldness upon every head, and I will make it as the morning of an only son. Which clearly, you know, the only son, the only begotten son, and the end of, thereof is a bitter day. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and they shall not find it. And that verse comes up sometimes. I've heard it mentioned. I believe I believe Hulk Hogan, when he made his comments about, about people not being able to attend church because of the pandemic, he mentioned that verse. There are times when we want to get together, and we can't. There will be times when we want to fellowship with Jesus and we can't where I am we're fortunate that COVID's pretty much been knocked out although we still have to worry about people possibly bringing it back in from out of state and we have precautions in place for that but you know we're, we're still taking our precautions and we'll probably continue to take those precautions for the near future. Because in the first days you have it, you don't know you have it. And you can go around being perfectly symptom free and get everyone else sick. And that's what we're that's what people are afraid of. We're trying to avoid the possibility of a typhoid Mary running around and killing people without realizing it. But if you can get to church I say do so. But don't limit yourself to the four walls. When you walk out of that building, a piece of the church walked out of that building. The building isn't the church. What the building is, is an embassy of the kingdom of God. The church, the congregation, the community, the ecclesia, is the parishioners, the attendees. Don't forget that. I might sound like Avery and March saying that, but it's true. We're the church, not the building. Jesus freak out.